if you think that you are just a body then all that you will care for is 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 height and you know such stuff and complexion and if you take yourself as more mental then you will be attracted to things like knowledge like prestige like money hmm? that are not directly re related to reproduction or the body but indirectly even these things are just agents that facilitate successful cohabitation and and, and the production of offspring hmm? the definition of beauty totally changes if you look at yourself in the spiritual way hmm? then the one that you are calling as beautiful two would be different then it is quite possible that you may find an utterly physically attractive woman quite ugly and equally it is possible that you may find somebody physically very ordinary or even repulsive to most people quite attractive to you getting it so it's not so much about attracting somebody beautiful to yourself or obtaining a beautiful mate in your life it's more about knowing what beauty really is Hmm? depending on your definition of beauty you will choose your relationships you will choose everything in life because life in one way is just a search for beauty if the very definition of beauty is flawed then all that you will gather and all that you will go through all that you will bring towards yourself will be flawed as well don't let that happen just in this scenario so i might feel like let's say i do not even need to go to the other sex for that spiritual connection or spiritual up going ahead i might feel that someone of my friend is more helpful to me in those regards but i still somehow have those let's say animal urges which which just take they must not be killed but they must be subservient to the spiritual objective one day i had called all that as the tail of the elephant hmm i had said that the real thing must be like the body of the elephant and then let the sexual part follow the body of the elephant like the tail how big is the tail of the elephant fine so obviously sexuality is a part of one's physical existence there is no need to try to smother it let it be there but then let it not occupy the commanding position in your psyche choose a person for his or her spiritual or actual merit and then if sex follows all right who said that you have to never enter into the sexual activity uh, that's not a mandate hmm? spirituality does not forbid sex it only forbids foolishness and most of our sexual activity is quite foolish therefore by association sex is talked of in spiritual circles in a lowly way but that kind of lowliness that is accorded to sex is not because sex in itself is lowly sex is neither high nor low it is just a physical thing but it becomes lowly when it tries to occupy the place of the highest in your mind you have you know a throne all right in your mind you have a hierarchy 
and that hierarchy should be right and clear. As a young person, if in your mental hierarchy, sex comes to occupy a very high position, then you will have problems. That does not mean that you have to give no place to sex in this hierarchical system. Give a place to sex that sex deserves. And for sure it does not deserve the topmost place. Hmm? So we had talked of three levels of association. Physical, mental, spiritual. They are not mutually exclusive. Thanks for pointing that out. They are not mutually exclusive. I didn't say that if you are spiritually related to someone, you will have no emotional connect and no physical connect. No, that was not the objective. A spiritual relationship means that you are related for spiritual reasons. Now the body is secondary. Now it does not matter whether sex happens or not. Either way it does not matter. If it doesn't happen, fine. If it happens, you don't have to feel guilty. Alright. But you surely are guilty if sex itself becomes central. Then you have insulted yourself by bringing yourself down and the other person down to merely the level of animal existence. Thank mm -hmm. you.